before we go slug pelleting, I'm going to take the spray out quickly and um, spray a bit of Roundup, glyphosate, over the fields, uh, and then we'll take the quad bike slug pelleting. We'll have to get it to the field first because it's quite a while away. It's one of our tentative uh, lab. So this is where our water comes from, that water tank, that big long pipe, and comes into the spray here. This is where we put all our chemicals. So once we put our chemicals in, this bit here, we put the chemicals on top and it does a triple rinse. So you don't have to stand there and put water in the chemicals three times and empty it out. It's the magic thing that it for us. When we're doing it though, we must make sure we have gloves and proper PPE. So, we're going to put some gallop on, which is glyphosate. Very good product. And it's for the control of most broadleaf weeds and grass weeds in one of those crops it says so. Linseed, mustard, wheat, barley, peas. Good, good chemicals. This spray is super fast for filling up the water. So we want 2,500. We've got two. So once it gets to 2,500, it's going to be okay to start going. We want to be putting chemicals in at the same time as well. So we're getting a really good mix. So we've got different nozzles. You can see. Red, white. Brown nozzles. It all depends what kind of chemical we're using or what low drift. So many different nozzles. I'd like to see how I can money through not all the time, but I'll leave that to you lot to let me know. These big green tanks, the Omex ones, they're full of liquid nitrogen, so we'll use them when we want to put liquid N on the fields, but obviously we'll use the spray as well. But with chemicals, we only mix them with water, so we're only coming out of this tank here. We've got a big bund in case anything leaks all contained inside there. That is one of the rules under the government. There's a sprayer. It's a really good sprayer so we have individual nozzle control and it's all done on GPS so we have individual nozzle control, yield mapping. The individual nozzle control is really cool. I'll show you um, a video of it at night. So along with um, individual nozzle control the sprayer also has pulse width modulation so this pulse width modulation ensures that the sprayer can still spray at lower pressures while still maintaining the same water rate or indeed droplet size um, up to speeds of 25 kilometers an hour so this works by modulating the flow of each nozzle with an electric pulse at 50 hertz when you can see the light switching on and off on and off where exactly it's targeting the crop. We we'll also do variable rates so it'll only pick the rate that is needed on the crop at that time so if we have a thinner part of the crop then there'll be less used. If it's a thicker part put more on um, so it's just it's a really good way of saving money I suppose. Water and what we're going to spray with. So we want the clean water to wash our spray out with at the end.